good, uh, I don't even know what day it is, Wednesday, uh, it is, no, I got nothing, uh, Chris V, do you want to do, do, you want to do the uh, intro, I guess? Hello everybody, it is Wednesday, November the, uh, uh, 10th. <laughs> My watch was locked. Um, and welcome to the Minecraft DevSync. Um, today is a glorious day. It's hump day. Derek, what kind of humps you deal with today, buddy? <laughs> well, as I'm mostly in hardware land, um, trying to get the, the the changes that we're we're pushing um, done. I mean, it's going to take me a couple of weeks, but uh, we're going to have another meeting with Aztec. Um, Get in, I guess it didn't get on the calendar today, but probably tomorrow. Uh, I did spend a little, just a little bit of time, about an hour or so, looking at um, some of the skills interaction feedback and got a couple of notes on the weather stuff, um, mostly positive. Um, but yeah, one of the things I was thinking about is that there was a lot of disambiguation um, suggestions in the in the first one that we posted. And I wanted uh, yeah, just to throw it out there that um, when we're disambiguating with stop and um, saying, do you want to stop the timer or do you want to stop the you know playback of music or whatnot? So there's a lot of suggestions in there about saying, uh, well, may maybe we should say ask the user which one they want to stop. And, uh, and it's my it's my impression that as we go into the skills um, interaction sprint, which you know it's going to get pu pushed off to work on the, the Wi-Fi, it sounds like. Um, but anyway, as we get into that, we'll uh, we'll build the mechanisms to kind of understand when these clashes are happening, or you know the system's aware of it to a certain degree, um, and then you know we can deal with the issue. I think that's kind of the part of the problem right now is, we, you know, we, we don't have great mechanisms. We're not the architecture kind of in place that didn't decide what to do when these clashes happen. Um, so anyway, I, I, I think that we can make a lot of decisions on a kind of a, an assumption basis. So like if timer is expiring while music is playing, we can kind of assume the user wants to stop that timer, right? Like we've talked about. Um, so yeah, anyway, I just, yeah, for those of you out there listening, um, I think we want to avoid disambiguation when we're highly confident that the user wants to stop the something that's in the foreground. And then when we're not very confident, we're like, well, we really don't know which one they're talking about. That's when we want to disambiguate. Because we're disambiguating all the time. You know, like your alarm is going off and you're playing music and you're like, trying to shut that damn alarm off and uh, it com it keeps coming back and asking you wh which one and you just, you know, that's going to frustrate you, I, I think. So anyway, lots of great feedback there. And um, I, I will uh, try and incorporate that into some you know, future uh, mock-ups and stuff. So. so thank you for that, everyone. Yeah, on those, I wondered, like, um... I wondered if, as we go through them, there might be things that come out and we want to drill down deeper into them. You know, like one of the one of the um, things from the the most recent video that I posted that we posted, um, starting with the weather skill, was when the dialogue got interrupted and it restarted the sentence, and so that like that got noticed, um, which was good, and and they liked that. But then it also made me wonder, like. You know, if you've got multi-sentence dialogue, do we want to restart just the last sentence? Do we want to restart the entire um, dialogue process, or you know, or do we want to do something else? Um, yeah, and that's kind of what I was getting at. Is like if we get the mechanisms in place, we can make that decision. We can make an assumption right now and say, okay, maybe we we'll just want to try restarting from the last sentence and see how that works right yeah. and how people like that and if that works and we think that does the job then cool 
but if not then maybe we need to go back to sentences but right now i don't think like i was saying we just don't have the mechanism to deal with that at all yeah and so we we can't really make you know a system that handles it until we build the architecture and then we can make some of the nuanced decisions yeah totally. correct me if Te i'm wrong technically guys, architecturally yeah we don't we absolutely don't have that mechanism at the moment but i was just thinking about yeah you know, the next videos and and um thinking if there were things like that that we wanted to explore even further we could do a whole video you know that was kind of exploring different approaches to that or something like that yeah know? yeah for sure or yeah. we could sprinkle them subtly through different videos if we want to but you know whatever. right right yeah, no, I think like, yeah, longer form stuff, like a Wikipedia article or something, yeah, it'd be interesting to mock that up and see how that that plays out. And, right, so. Cool, but yeah, no, lots of good stuff happening over there. <clears throat> no, that's about it for me. All right, Mr. Ken, what's going on, sir? Uh, I set up a meeting with Panacore for Friday morning at 8.30 my time regarding the bring up sequence stuff. I started fixing some bugs in the alarm skill, which caused me to spend the majority of yesterday and today looking at the rat's nest that is the confers process flow. And then I just backed out and said, I'm not going to try to fix this. So um, I went ahead and fixed the alarm skill. I'll put a PR together. For that in the morning and, and submit that that'll at least address the two bugs in that jira ticket and then uh, i'll move on to uh, burning images and going through the bring up sequence and getting ready for my friday meeting so that that's it for me all right yes good day good day um yeah not the most productive day you can probably hear that i'm still um, getting over the sickness. Um, we, we have had another, um, another dev kit where they're not getting, they're not getting the, um, hot, the access point set up, um, uh, which we've seen like once or twice before, but I've never, you know, gotten to the bottom of it and, and eventually it just sort of resolves itself. Um, so I've, uh, you probably saw in the chat, I've, I've pushed Panacore to, to really jump on top of this one so we can figure out what the hell is going on. Um, you know, the fact that it's happened numerous times to different users shows that it's, even if it is user error, there is clearly a way that that can happen to multiple people who are technically minded, you know. Um, so that, that type of user error is system error in my opinion. Um, Anyway, uh, yeah, not too many exciting things to report on. Um, okay, did a fix for the, there was a weird config, uh, well, not a weird config, there was a config bug introduced with the XDG stuff where the remote and the um, system uh, configuration got switched around. Um, so, okay, uh, well, Jarvis and okay kind of um, found that one and, and okay's done a fix for it. Um, uh, the PR processing project board I think is going well I think we need to keep you know working through things there but um, it's certainly making it a bit clearer in my head about where things are at and um, yeah um, you know, need to stick to it because um, it's, it's very easy to just jump on the things that are coming through your inbox but, uh, but that just means that we're not getting to the things that are sitting there idle because they're ready to go, potentially. Um, and uh, yeah, my next focus is getting back to the DuckDuckGo so we can close out this GUI sprint. Um, I think that's me. And that leaves me, so um, I got a new image um, on in the, in the team chat, where the, the link is, the latest image, just went out there for 11.3. Um, <clears throat> I spent a good part of the day burning images and booting devices and that kind of stuff, um, mostly 
um, with lots of problems. Uh, I think there's a handful of race conditions is kind of what it, you know, it seems like because, you know, different things are happening at different times and it's not consistent. So I think there's probably just something about our asynchronous nature that we may need to look into a little bit. And that's what I've been doing. I've got, you know, get the log file up, um, you know, with, uh, with Ken working on the conversation piece on the Wi-Fi setup. Um, I figured I'll, I'd look at the, you know, the skill part and see, you know, for example, I got, I got the, the home screen to show up before the Wi-Fi or before the pairing screen. And then the pairing screen didn't show up. And I think there's some, still some weird stuff going on there too. Um, I did fix one bug. Um, so that should be, are we still doing daily builds, guys? Like, this is just happening? As in skill skill fixes, like if, if you're talking about like feature mark two, if you push something to feature mark two, it will automatically go up and get built and, and go out as an update. Yeah. Oh, okay, but it's just a skill fix that won't come. This this is just a skill fix. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm a little concerned about. I mean, I could go into the box and, and get rid of the Wi-Fi credentials and the pairing credentials and stuff, but I think there's something. Um, different about starting from, you know, a fresh boot to, um, that, you know, if I got that working, might mask some things. Mm. And I'm also having, I'm not sure, this is, I think, as we brought this up before, um, when I got brought it up a little bit yesterday. So, um, Selene defaults you to a stable build. So as soon as I get paired and I'm up there, as soon as the, my device gets a minute, it flips back to the stable build. Yeah. Which it does rather quickly, but then I try to move it back to the latest build, and that was three hours ago. So <laughs> I'm not sure I completely understand um, exactly how that works, but I just thought it was interesting because um, that's the build I want to play with. And right now I'm just sitting on this table build. Um, anyway, well, that's what I was mentioning the other day: is that I burned the new build or new image and. Uh, put it on latest and automatic updates, and for some reason, uh, when it powered back up again, uh, it came up on stable, and I don't know why it did that. It's because stable is how we default it in Selene, and I think that's probably that's whatever value we send them. That's what we send them, and I have no way of knowing which build is on your device, I don't think. Do we have to send a value? It seems like the behavior now is if you just leave it running, then it'll be latest and it'll automatically update. But if you turn it off and bring it back up again, it won't. Uh, no, I had, I wasn't doing. I didn't do anything. Mine just rebooted itself into stable. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do we need so to? Next I'm gonna try is with this one is I'm going to try and go into Selene and change it to latest before it reboots. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See if that works, but it, I, yeah, I mean, it's, there might be something in Selenium. I have that chance to look what exactly what. Well, you might know. you might also need to interrupt the like if there is an updating process. Um, uh, you might need to interrupt that. So uh, if like it's not, I mean, this is not something that is going to be used in production. So like, you know, pe people are not going to be downloading the the latest, you know. No, 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 we could no, offer it nightly, I guess, but um, but yeah. So to to address like your immediate need, I would pair the device, switch to latest, and reboot the device um, so that it it cuts off any update that's currently in process to to push it back to stable. Ah, uh, okay, I got you. Otherwise, it might be like it might not cut off the existing update process. So good point. All right, no. Do that too. But yeah, I, I do wonder too if we can, if we need to send the channel info in that initial interaction, or whether it's already it's already in the config for the device based on its, you know. Yeah, I don't think the device knows about Panda Core necessarily. I mean, the Mycroft code at least doesn't really know about Panda Core the way Selene does. So I don't know that it knows what the channels are or anything like that. No, I was just wondering if they were baked into the, in, if the release candidate already has the latest baked into it, but I don't think it would. 
So I think. Yeah, I don't want to spend a lot of time on it if this is going to be the default behavior going forward. I mean, this really is a problem for me while I'm trying to do something. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, so I don't cool. want to spend a bunch of time on it. Um, I think the default behavior will be you get stable, and if you want latest, you switch. Um, anyway. So that's, that's yeah. Great. I thought I was going to work on skill interactions, but I, I got to a certain point in the document. Michael gave me some feedback. And it sounds like he wants me helping Ken out on uh, the bring up sequence. So that's kind of why I've been looking and booting stuff up and looking at logs and things. Yes, is there a way to uh, order the, uh, the loading of skills? Uh, definitely for priority skills, I would have to check for the other skills. But when you say for priority skills, if I have more than one priority skill, how do I order those? As a Wait, that, let's just, I mean, hit that in the bud. We're, the, the, the design that's upcoming is all skills are loaded before we do anything, so it shouldn't matter. The design we have coming up is what? All skills load before anything happens. So it's not going to matter what the order they, they load in. Okay. I thought we had a dependency on the Wi-Fi skill. Wi-Fi mm -hmm. skill won't start until the until device report's ready. Right, and then no other skills before the Wi-Fi skills should go off until we have a connection. So why are you saying? All well, then those be... skills, then we should have something looking for a Wi-Fi connect thing. Or a, or a, or a connect right, thing. Anyway, okay, something. so I'll look. All right, the answer is we have, a, we have a, a gross delineation between priority skills and other skills, and we may or may not be able to organize the priority skills. Got it. We definitely can organize priority skills at the moment, but it, yeah. Don't like spend a lot of time on it. It's not going to work that way in the, in the near future. <laughs> so at the moment, it loads Mark II skill first, so that um, yeah. the home screen, the resting screen, fast gets registered and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Uh, then volume skills, so that people can change the volume while they're going through the the boot up sequence. Then Wi-Fi Connect, so that they can get it connected to Wi-Fi, and then pairing, so that um, they can pair their device. And does it just load, 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 or does it say load and wait until it's done, load and wait until it's initialized, load and wait? It loads uh, each skill and waits until that skill is initialized. So um, it has to complete the, I'm 70% I'm sure about this, it has to complete the initialized method um, before it will load the next skill. Okay, good. And that's in skill loader class, I take it? Uh, yes, let's say yes. <laughs> but like, to, to, if you wanted, say you wanted to add another skill to that list, it, the list is just in the, the Microf conf, um, Microf configuration. So, um, yeah, if you take a look at your system conf on your device, you'll see the, those four skills listed in a, in a list. A list that's going away very soon. All right, anybody have anything else? Um, anyway, let's not get into that. I, it sounds like there was a conversation about that and that, that has, there are good reasons for that. Is that a fair statement? <laughs> um, yeah, in Hawaii, I mean, there should be in that Mark II um, bring up sequence document. Oh, okay, all right, I'll go and have a look. Cool. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow then. Man, we're, we're being too quick these days. <laughs> yeah, we finished before Derek has to go. What's up with that? <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. All right, we'll see everybody tomorrow. All right, take it easy. All right, see you.